Welcome back to Drifting South, a vlog series about my partner and I and our dog starting our full-time RV life in British Columbia, Canada, and slowly making our way down through the States and into Mexico. We crossed the US border just south of Nelson and made our way through Washington, into Oregon, and stuck to Highway 84 that took us slightly into Idaho. Back into Oregon, down into Nevada, where we followed Highway 95, and had a quick stop in Las Vegas before heading down to Yuma and then crossing the Mexican border through Calexico into Mexicali. Bienvenido a Mexico, mi amigos. Our first planned stop is in San Felipe. What questions were asked and what did they need to see at the border crossing? Uh, proof of insurance, registration, truck and trailer. Uh, Mexican insurance. They had a dog go around and sniff. They had a lady go through the slide. She's smaller and a chubbier dude went into the bedroom. Didn't even check the back of the truck, which was surprising. Nothing to do with the boat or motor, which is great because that's not completely finished on my hand, but whatever. But now it's total sport driving. Glad I have lots of power and aftermarket exhaust so I can But it's tight, the roads are shit, and people don't let you in, you got to just go for it. So I'm hanging behind this garbage truck right now, I'm just taking it easy for a Border crossing went extremely well, and then we went in and got our passport, or no, our visa. So that was um, 1,400 pesos like 40 US each. 40 US each. That gives us six months. Six months in Mexico. Now we're on the highway to San Felipe. It's a different scene driving here. checkpoint is like a military checkpoint and they actually go in and uh, look through all your stuff too so there's a little sign saying um, take all your valuables out they'll go search and you make sure that your valuables are not taken that they're still there and then you can go so all of the pesos that I took out yesterday that we exchanged for the American dollars that we had left they're all in the trailer here so I just want to go make sure he was in here for a while, that everything is still there. Oh, yay! He didn't even check, but he yeah. was in here for a bit. He was looking through all of our clothes. And my little second drawer here is where I keep my pesos. So lucky for us, lucky for me, it's still all there. So we're only about 30 kilometers now from San Felipe, where we're staying the night. It'll be so nice to get there and maybe jump in the ocean, go enjoy some. I'll tell of you Mexico. why that's important. Brent's gonna tell you why this is important. <laughs> important because if we would have got robbed there, we would have started our trip with a bad taste in our mouth, and it would have turned our trip maybe right too many times when it's left. So we learned a lesson about these military checkpoints, but at the same time, I'm happy that nothing was taken because it would change the vibe. Yeah, so if you're going through Mexico in an RV or whatever, just make sure that all your stuff is on you safely. So now that I've finished saying, make sure that you keep all your stuff on you. I'm going to take that money out of out of there 
and keep it on me because we don't know if we're going through another checkpoint or not before we get to San Felipe. Okay, now we're safe. You got your important stuff too? I had a checkbook stashed back there that no one could really do anything with, but other than having checked it. Never know. Nunca se sabes. I'm learning Espanol. Gotta practice. Gotta keep practicing. Gonna get my Rosetta Stone on the go again. Rosetta. Rosetta Stone. Rosetta. <laughs> We got all your stuff too, Minnie. Don't worry. Nobody took oh, your honestly, stuff. He was pretty nervous. He kept asking me if we got cameras because I have stickers all over that say live surveillance. And he stopped and he was at the doorway for like 40 seconds looking back all around the doorway at the mechanics and kept asking me, do you have cameras? I said, si, sí, como no? Like, sure. And then he looked kind of nervous. So that's why I thought we might've got a little bit of a Rob happening, but nothing. Nothing. Not that we're aware of. If there's anything he took, it wasn't that important to us. We got our pesos. We got our phones, cameras, mini. Yeah, we're good. Just make sure you keep your stuff on you. And maybe not in a jar. I don't know. I just, no, I like, I like jars. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a clear little glass pod where you can see everything in it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad the trip uh, vibe didn't change because that could. Yeah, that would have changed the vibe. It was like only. And I would have been having to work on you. No. Oh. interesting fishing experience this morning with the shit hawk um, but it's safe and sound it's alive it's flying around it's good again uh, now we're heading downtown Brent's gonna get a tattoo uh, this is Jamie hi we walked by last night, I said, he's old school, I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow. And he said to me, I'm not, tomorrow's my day off. <laughs> Be here at 11. <laughs> he's so sweet. Offer me one of his tacos before we get started. We're gonna have some lunch and we're gonna get a tattoo.
wow, what a day yesterday was. Brent spent nine hours in the tattoo shop. So we both got our tattoos done the day before. He liked the artist so much that he planned to get a big cover up on his arm. So we're gonna give you a look at that a little bit later. But right now we're gonna head to the market to get some groceries and fill up before we do some boondocking a bit south on the Baja in Los Angeles. for like energy or calories or something. I don't even think I'm gonna have <laughs> You went for the black and white one. That one you want? No. Oh, the fresh one. I don't wanna not eat sugar. Okay. <laughs> it smells so good. It's not that great. <laughs> I don't think it is that great actually. Mm, it's superb. <laughs> a bite to find out? No. It's good. Great. <laughs> we'll go make some bacon and eggs. Mm -hmm. The grocery haul was a complete success. I can't even believe some of the prices in that store. So we ended up paying 2,054 pesos for all our groceries, which I'm gonna lay out in the trailer for you to take a look at. Um, and I was just checking my bank statement. And so it was $168 Canadian. Um, wait till you see everything we got. I am so excited. We're gonna be so set up for our uh, boondocking in the next few nights. Um, tomorrow we are leaving to go to the ba Bahia Los Angeles. It's on the east coast of the Baja California and um, the place that we're going to next doesn't have any little town or village connected to it. It's just kind of on the beach supposed to be great fishing so we're just prepping in advance also we didn't bring bags with us we didn't know really what to expect we should have brought our bags grocery shopping with us we ended up everything just got put back into our grocery cart and we just put it all into some garbage bags here so uh, Minnie's dealing with it she's doing a good job staying out of the way and I've got the eggs on my lap um, but yeah I'm freaking excited, 168 bucks for all these groceries. I'm just blown away, it's so nice. Okay, check out what we got for $168 Canadian. So many snacks, Ziplocs, noodles, all the sauces, butter, some cream for a tattoo, coffee, breads, meats, Rotisserie chicken, we got dog food, pasta, toilet paper, milk, tomato sauces, all these veggies, onion, peppers, bacon, cheeses, all our produce, 30 eggs, all of this for $168. Oh my gosh. Can you even guess, imagine what that would be in Canada? At least 300, like at least double. It's just wild. It's so nice. I'm so happy. Now let's make some breakfast.
Where's the best girl? Last night in San Felipe, I can't even believe it's already here. We got some really sweet artwork done, we got some shopping done, and tomorrow we are going down to the Bahia, Los Angeles. I hear there's some pretty good fishing, and that's what we're planning to do. Okay, and just make sure that you're not... Okay. Yeah, bit of a tight spot here this morning. Taking off from San Felipe, heading further south. Gotta get this trailer out of here. Well, that went easier than expected. Brent's such a pro. All right, we're ready to head out. Head down to the Bahia, Los Angeles. Are you ready, Minnie? Are you ready to leave San Felipe? Hey. Okay. Okay. says we have about two hours and 22 minutes left to go but these roads are I mean they're getting better but sometimes they're fairly narrow there's some real good bumps um, there's bikes on the highway that we got to go around and kind of just we're taking our time basically so we're probably not going to make it all the way to where we'd like to go tonight um, we don't want to drive in the dark and we don't want to burn Brent out too much um, he does a really amazing job driving, but when he gets tired, like anybody, you just stop paying attention quite as much. So we're going to play it safe and just um, pull over when we need to pull over, um, take breaks, um, just, you know, take the time that we need and see where we end up. wasn't the first 
people we saw doing that either. And I haven't actually seen that since we got into Mexico. I've not seen that once. And on this teeny tiny little highway from Highway 5, Highway 1, it was 3. <laughs> what the heck? And they all look stressed out. <laughs> yeah. oh, what a your own nice, adventure. nice adventure. What a nice ride out here. Oh, wow. And it is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Wow. But seriously. <laughs> Danger. From San Felipe this morning, we took Highway 5 um, down the coastline, met up with Highway 1, and we were about to turn onto Highway 12 to head towards uh, Bahia de Los Angeles. Um, we're finding that there's very few places to get gas. Uh, make sure you have enough fuel and have some backup, just in case. We have three jerry cans in the back. Um, and we got to this one gas station. They've got like two liters or something. <laughs> so um, we're also trying to figure out where to get cash out. There's no banks in this area. The closest one's three hours from here. And we're low on funds, um, paper funds anyways. And not everyone takes Visa or debit, um, e-transfer, anything like that. It doesn't always work out here. So be prepared. Have lots of cash, lots of water, and have lots of fuel with you when you come down these highways. Um, we're setting up Starlink to get some service also. There's no cell service out here. Um, and we're gonna see how far we have to go possibly to get money, see if we need to get cash out before we go find our camping spot for the night. Um, just get some clarity before we keep going because we're in a safe spot here, so we'll see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I started feeding some of the dogs some water and now they're all over the place. Um, so with a quick check on Google Maps, um, Safari and the app Campendium, we found that there's a place to stay in Guerrero Negro instead of heading down Highway 12 and going to the Baja de Los Angeles. We're going to keep on the Highway 1, go to Guerrero Negro, there's bank machines. Um, it's on the west side, but we're gonna just continue down the number one. That'll eventually take us east again. And uh, it's all good. Plans change all the time. Our plans always change. We're just gonna roll with it. Just be prepared. But we need to find an ATM and get some money out. Um, Cause not everywhere accepts cards. Sometimes the system's down, even if they do accept cards. So always have cash on you. That's what I've been learning. Uh, so yeah, we're good. Yeah, you. I got you a banana up front. Thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> uh -huh. Looks like a mini mini. Yeah, a little mini mini. <laughs> Are you a mini mini? Are you a little mini mini? Yes, you are. Yes, you're a little mini mini. Oh, I know. I know you are. Yes, you're so sweet. Okay. Yeah, I love you. I love you. You're dirty. <laughs> good luck out there. Good luck. Be a good girl. Bye. Bye bye. Be good girls. Next week on Drifting South, we make a quick pit stop in Guero Negro before finding paradise in San Lucas Cove, just south of Santa Rosalia. This cool, quiet RV park is exactly what we've been looking for and the fishing has been amazing. So please give that subscribe button a gentle caress to get updated when the next video comes out. Thanks so much for watching and take care until next time.